Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to transfer PlayStation 4 games and saved game data onto an external hard drive. This will allow you not only to save internal hard drive space on your PS4, but it also allows you to take your external hard drive and play on another console, another PS4, or even on a PlayStation 5. If you have a PlayStation 5, you know that there's not a lot of internal hard drive space. So if you're gonna be playing any PS4 games, I highly recommend playing the PS4 games on the external hard drive. Now, a couple quick things to note about what type of external hard drive you need. It can be one that requires power to the wall, or it can be one that doesn't require any external power at all and just works simply with a USB cable. You need to make sure that the external hard drive is at least USB 3.0 and has at least 250 gigabytes of free storage space. Once you have that, connect your external hard drive to your PS4's USB input. Now, as soon as you connect it, if it's not formatted for the PlayStation 4, you will get a notice on the top letting you know that it's not correctly formatted. Right here it says, the USB storage device's file system is unsupported. To format it, go into your settings, then go to devices, then go to USB storage devices. Here you'll see the external hard drive. Click on that, and then you can click on format as extended storage. Now, when you format it, anything that's on that external hard drive will be deleted. So make sure you move those files to a different location, whether it's another computer or another hard drive. Once you do this, you're gonna permanently wipe out everything on the external hard drive. So then click on that, press next, click on format. And then one last warning, click on yes. And now it's formatting. Do not disconnect the device or turn off the PlayStation. Once it says the device has been formatted as extended storage, press OK. Now you'll see a little green dot letting you know that now it's good to use on the PlayStation 4 and you can either install games directly on here or if you want to transfer games and save data, now it's good to go. So let me show you how to now transfer the games and the save data. Click on back, back again, then go down to storage. Then here you'll see the internal system storage and then the extended storage, which is the external hard drive. Now, right here on the right-hand side, you'll see it says application install location. That means currently on this PlayStation 4 console, any new games being installed will be on this extended storage. If you want to change that, you can press the options button and then change application install location to system storage. But we're not going to worry about that right now. We're trying to transfer out data to the extended storage. So go back, back, go into the system storage, go to applications, and then click the options button. Now here you get the option on the right that says move to extended storage. Click on that. Then you can choose all the applications, all the games and apps that you want to move over to the external hard drive. On the right hand side, it says movable size and that tells you how much space is left on your external hard drive. So I'm gonna grab Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Select that and then go to move. Again, you can select all or individual games or apps. For now, I'm gonna just do this one. Click move, then it asks if you're sure. I'm gonna press okay. And now it's gonna take some time to move. Now, bigger games might take a little longer. While applications and games are being moved, do not disconnect or turn off the power. Now that that's finished, it's important to know that only the game has been transferred, not your game saved data. The game saved data is different from the game application itself. Game saved data is all the progress that you do in the game that's not online. So story mode, campaign, passing levels, unlocking characters in the game itself. That is game save data that lives in the hard drive. Anything that's related to online gameplay like Call of Duty unlocking guns or purchasing DLC skins, that lives on your PS Plus account. So that's not something you have to worry about. So again, if you wanna pick up where you left off in your game, you're gonna to need to copy your game save data onto an external device like a USB flash drive. You cannot copy it to the external hard drive that we just transferred the game to. Now, if you don't have a USB flash drive, you can also copy your game save data to your PlayStation Plus online storage. So now let me walk you step-by-step step on this process. Go back, back, back again. Connect a USB flash drive to your PlayStation 4's USB port. Once that's connected, go to application saved data management. We're gonna click on the top option, saved data in system storage. That's all the game saved data that's in the internal hard drive on your PS4. And here you see you have two options. You can upload to your online storage via PS Plus, or you can copy to a USB storage device like a flash drive. 
Again, you cannot copy your game save data to the extended hard drive that we transferred the game applications into. I'm gonna click on the second one, copy to USB storage device. Then I'm gonna look for the game save data that coincides to the game that I transferred to the external hard drive. For me, it was Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Select that. Then I'm gonna go to the right, select all. So it grabs all the game save data. Go down to copy. And now it's copying to the flash drive. So there you guys have it. That's how you transfer your PS4 games to an external hard drive. And also how to copy your game save data to a flash drive or PS Plus online storage. Now, if you're not gonna be taking your games to another console, you do not need to do the part where I copied the game save data to a flash drive. That is only for if you're gonna be taking your games to another console and you wanna continue where you left off on the other console, such as another PS4 or on a PS5. Now, if you wanna disconnect your external hard drive, first make sure that you eject it. So hold the PlayStation button on the controller, then go to sound and devices, and you're gonna go to stop using extended storage. And now it says you have stopped using the extended storage device. You can safely disconnect it. Now, if you guys want to know how to use the external hard drive to play your games on a PS5, I do have another video on this channel that shows you that process. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.